Hello everyone, I'm Jenny Matthews, Head of Marketing for MRI on location for Footfall Analytics, formerly known as MRI Springboard, and I'd like to share with you the monthly highlights from the last month or so. MRI Software is a leading provider of real estate software solutions that transform the way communities live, work and play. MRI's open and connected AI-first platform empowers owners, operators and occupiers in commercial and residential property organisations to innovate in rapidly changing markets. We have been a trailblazer in the prop tech industry for over five decades, serving more than 6 million users worldwide. In this short webinar, we take a look at footfall performance throughout December 2023, where footfall rose across all retail destinations, likely to have been boosted by festive events, attractions and trading as consumers prepared for Christmas. Despite a challenging economic climate, this was a positive end to the year for high streets, shopping centres and retail parks. Footfall across UK retail destinations rose by 6.1% from November to December, predominantly boosted by activity in the final trading week before Christmas. High streets witnessed a rise in activity levels of 3.7%. However, this could have been higher had it not been for the turbulent weather and rail strikes which occurred in the earlier part of the month. Nevertheless, the boost for high streets came in the penultimate week before Christmas, which indicates that the investment made by many historic and market towns in festive events and attractions served its purpose in driving footfall to these locations. Compared to 2022, Footfall rose marginally by 0.2% across all UK retail destinations. This was largely driven by activity in high streets, where footfall rose by 1.2%. Again, this is indicative of the investment made by many towns and cities in festive events and how worthwhile they were in driving footfall during the golden quarter. Footfall performance against pre-pandemic levels also improved and ended the year being 11.4% lower than 2019 for high streets, compared with it being 10.4% lower against the overall benchmark for retail destinations. This is the second best result recorded in 2023 for high streets following June, when it was 10.3% lower. This further supports the turbulent year observed by high streets with rail strikes and weather disruptions, in addition to the economic challenges facing the retail sector. If we take a closer look at week-on-week -week performance for December, footfall declined by an average of 2.6% in the first two weeks, which was much more noticeable in high streets compared to shopping centres and retail parks. This is likely to have been influenced by rail disruptions and poor weather deterring people from venturing out. However, as we approach the pivotal festive trading period, footfall took an optimistic turn with the penultimate Christmas week, which was week commencing the 10th of December, seeing footfall reach its peak of 7.9% and then dipping slightly to 5.8% in that all-important last week before Christmas, which, which was week commencing the 17th of December. This is indicative of the strategic investments by local towns and cities in driving footfall during this peak trading period. Weekday footfall continued to decline by 2.6% in UK high streets, compared with a marginal uplift of 0.7% in the previous month. This drop in weekday traffic could be attributed to the adverse weather conditions and rail disruptions which occurred during the weekday part of the month. However, the positive news is that the weekend period during December embraced recovery, witnessing a surge in high street footfall, averaging 11%. The final week before Christmas saw footfall rise across all retail destinations from the week before by 11.2% largely driven by a rise three times higher in retail parks and shopping centres, compared to high streets which saw a rise in footfall of 5.8%. Activity peaked on Sunday and Wednesday in high streets. However, with consumers focused on the last-minute dash for gifts and groceries, retail parks and shopping centres led the charge with significant week-on-week -week rises. As we approach the weekend of Christmas, footfall declined by an average of 12.3% in high streets, as many look to make the great getaway ahead of Christmas Day. On Boxing Day itself, High Streets led the charge with an 8.8% .8 rise in footfall compared with 2022, and also witnessed year-on-year -year rises in the days which followed, suggesting many consumers were keen to take advantage of the post-Christmas sales 
and also make the most of the leisure and hospitality choices available, whether it be a trip to the theatre or visiting the festive events and attractions in their final week. As we look ahead to January, a natural post-Christmas slump is anticipated, with footfall projected to decline in the region of minus 20 to minus 25%. Weather warnings and a one-week delay in the return to school for many regions across the UK could lead to subdued footfall at the start of the month. However, this should improve as January progresses compared to 2023 levels, particularly with more and more employees returning to offices. The financial constraints felt in the latter part of 2023 for many are likely to continue into the early part of 2024, which could also have an impact on footfall in UK retail destinations. If these monthly insights have whetted your appetite for more, then be sure to head online to subscribe for our benchmarks and get them delivered directly to your inbox weekly or monthly, or check out our resource library for the latest on-demand content. Thank you so much for your time.